hey you guys i am back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i created these abstract chrome aura nails these were suggested to me by a follower on instagram and i had to recreate and they turned out amazing and i can always show you guys how i created this look so let's get into it so I went ahead and attached my tips off camera just to save us some time but I also wanted to show you that I am still rocking my hyper realistic nails on my left hand. These have been hanging on very well and I've been getting a lot of compliments of these. I absolutely love these nails but like I mentioned I went ahead and attached my nails on my left hand and uh, in case you're wondering why they are a little bit shiny that's just my DIY base coat. I will share it with you guys as soon as I'm confident so we're going straight into it and i'm clipping down the length of my nails we're going for a little bit of a shorter stiletto today because i just felt like doing them a little bit shorter and also realized that i haven't done a short stiletto set yet next up i'm going in with my flat um i think flat edge nail clippers i just love these because they help with creating that nice straight line and they save you time especially if you're going to be doing um, the stiletto nails so i went ahead and clipped the edges into a v just to save me some time with the shaping i will link these in my description box if you're interested in purchasing Next up, I'm grabbing my hand file and now it's time to refine that stiletto shape, making sure that I've got a nice point right in the middle of the nail. Um, I absolutely love um, shaping my nails into a stiletto. It really is very easy and I think it's easier if the file is coming from underneath, if you guys see um, how I'm doing it. That way you've got, you get a nice shape and I went ahead and did the rest off camera and this is how they turned out. I went ahead and made the pinky a little bit shorter also my DIY base coat was peeling a bit on my middle finger but I applied a little bit of um, glue and we were good to go now it's time for the acrylic application I'm going in with my monomer I made a little bit of a mixture of white and clear um, polymer and then I'm also going to be going in with my damping dish and my favorite number eight Akolinsky brush now I'm starting with the application I'm gonna be showing you guys on my index finger and like I always say I'm so used to working with the nude acrylic like I'm familiar with the consistency that every time I work with like a colored acrylic it always just throws me off a bit but i'm sure you guys can see i recovered very well the important thing is just to make sure that it is not touching your skin and if it does touch your skin just make sure you remove it so i'm patting it down pointing the nail down hoping that gravity helps me just a little bit because this was just flowing a bit too much um, more than I am used to the temperature in the room also might have had something to do with it being a little bit too runny but that's okay I quickly familiarized myself and I continued with the application As I mentioned before, I mixed a little bit of clear acrylic with um, my white acrylic to create a bit of a milkier white. Um, I would have preferred it to be a little bit more transparent, but in the end, it all came together and I was really, really happy with the shade of white that I was working with.
when I'm done I always just check that I've got a good amount on my apex and that the nail is nice and supported and then I went off camera and did exactly the same for the rest of my nails now I'm grabbing my hand file and I'm refining that shape as you guys will see I don't really have a lot of filing to do because again as I mentioned I try when I'm laying my acrylic to make sure that I make it as smooth as possible so that the filing process goes by effortlessly. Then I went ahead and did the rest of my nails off camera and now I'm going to be grabbing my buffing block just to smooth out those nails and make sure that I've got a nice smooth surface for all the nail art that we are about to do. So I went ahead and washed my nails and this is how they look at this point. I love this shape. I love the length of these nails. They were still a bit sharp though, but I really, really love the length. They were giving villain, they were giving <laughs> sorceress. <laughs> I really, really love how they were looking. Now I'm going in with my favorite nude. You guys know I love this nude, especially if I'm going to be doing a nail art. And uh, even though it does have a tint of color to it, this color is perfect because it helps just cover up all those ridges from the filing and uh, always ensures that I get a smooth application with my nail art. So I went ahead and applied it on all my nails and I cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. Now it's time for the nail art. I went ahead and did two of my nails off camera just to practice and make sure I've got the technique right. I am using the silicone sponge from one of these um, instant chrome pigment pens. I don't know if you guys have seen these but the, um, the chrome is inside the pen and the sponge sits and you get it from there and then you rub it onto your nails. But I found that the silicone sponge works very well especially because it's nice and round so it's perfect to do the aura nail art i'm going in with my pigment powder to create it and i'm just grabbing a small amount with the silicone pen i'm going to call it silicone pen even though i'm not sure whether it's silicone and then i'm dabbing the excess off on my paper towel making sure that it, it, there isn't too much and i go directly onto the nail starting in the center of the nail dabbing directly on there and uh, just making sure that i've got a nice um, concentration of color in the center once I'm happy with that I try and ombre the sides very lightly um, removing as much excess from the pigment pen and uh, whatever a little bit of pigment is left on there is what I use to ombre the rest of the nail I hope I've explained that well but if not I'm sure you can see the technique that I'm as I'm doing it So I went ahead off camera and applied my nine wipe top coat and this is how 
the nails are looking at this point now i tried applying my top coat and immediately as the top coat touched the nail art it dragged it down the nail and melted everything so i had to start over so instead of using matte top coat i went in with my nine wire top coat and because i didn't want to make the nails too bulky i'm just removing the shine from the nails with just a buffing block instead of applying matte top coat on top again and the reason i did this was that i don't want the nails to be too bulky so i sort of did like a diy matte top coat Now I went off camera and did the nail art on two of my nails again just to practice to make sure that I'm happy with how it's looking and uh, um, yeah I'm going to start with the nail art. I'm going to show you guys the process on my ring finger on how I did this. Now I did have a small scratch there that I was trying to cover um, in case you're wondering why the weird bend there. There was a little bit of a scratch on the nail art that I was trying to hide and it worked and it turned out beautifully. Now, as I mentioned before, these nails were suggested to me by Guaco Shazo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She's a follower of mine over on Instagram. She popped me a DM and said, hey, can you please try and recreate this set? And I was like, challenge accepted, girl. Bring it on. Let's do it. Now the nail artist um, that created the set is called Nails With Patience on Instagram. She actually reached out to me also and said, hey, if you need any help, let me know. I cannot wait to see the final result. So the whole process was a lot of fun and interactive. And I went ahead and shared the um, after pictures with everyone on Instagram. If you guys have any nail suggestions for me, head over to my Instagram at Nectar Nails and pop me a DM and let me know which set you would like to see me recreate so now it's time for us to apply the chrome powder i'm going to be going in with just the applicator makeup applicator wand i think that's what it's called and i'm also going to be going in with just the makeup sponge now i went ahead and bought new chrome powders because the ones that i have were just not giving at all and i really really love this chrome powder especially the way that it comes in like a palette and it's compressed it creates less of a mess and it makes the application process really really easy immediately i could see as i was applying that this chrome is the one and it looked so nice and so metallic and it was so satisfying to apply onto my nails. After I was done with the application, I just go ahead and grab my makeup sponge and this just helps remove any excess chrome powder but also just provides a little bit of extra shine to the nail. And when I was done, this is how they looked. How cool does that look? So metallic, so shiny. I was really, really happy with the way these were looking absolutely stunning now i'm going in with my now wire top coat one last time making sure that i'm sealing everything in and i noticed that while applying the top coat it just made the chrome shine even more which i absolutely loved 
Now for an extra bit of detail, I'm going to go ahead and apply these caviar beads and you notice these are bigger than the normal size caviar beads. And I'm also going to be going in with my BTR box solid glue gel and my small LED light. Now I went ahead and applied the um, caviar beads on top of the top coat because I didn't want them to be covered or be touched with top coat in any way. So I applied a small bit of the solid glue gel onto the nail and then I smushed the caviar bead on the gel and then I cured with my LED flashlight. Now I will say that um it would probably be better if these were flat back but i didn't have flat back at the moment and so i went ahead and applied a little bit more glue on the sides just to secure them so that they don't just fall off very easily and this is how they looked when i was done next up i'm going in and just applying my um cuticle oil just to moisturize my cuticles and make sure that they are nice and shiny and moisturized And this is the final look you guys I love how these nails turned out I love everything about these I love the chrome I love the pink aura and the white and it, the whole look just turned out really 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 nice the caviar beads are actually stuck very very well and with that said we've reached the end of the video if you guys loved these nails go ahead and pop me a like i would really really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button we just hit 7,000 subscribers you guys i am still in disbelief and i just want to take a moment and say thank you so much if you're new welcome to the family if you're a day one thank you so much i appreciate you i hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are bye guys